Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating a birthday card using the penguin party and the happy birthday from my favorite things in combination with two stencils. The first one from Honeybee Stamps is called Watercolor Lines Background Stencil and I'm using the biggest one. And I'm combining that one with the rectangle Extraordinary Stencil. Now I'm going to first add these stencils together keep them with some purple tape in place and then I will add it to this panel to do some ink blending. Now originally I was going to make a completely different card where I was going to use some die cut flowers and once I tried that it was not pretty at all. Um, so originally I was going to make really spring summery card and that's why I started with the buttercup ink from Concord and Ninth to ink blend these stripes on top of my panel. Now this is an A2 size panel. I just cut it out and I didn't choose a die because I was going to use this adorable stencil and then I prefer not having stitching details on the edges. That being said, I was making sure that I tapped off the excess of this ink before starting with the ink blending and then I just went all over this stencil. Now, must be honest, um, sometimes when you have things in your mind and you don't plan things out really good, then you get the same thing as I did, just a card that isn't working and you need to figure it out. Also, I removed these stencils and it was strange. I thought it was really, really strange to have those uh, wide areas in between, although it's all the purpose of the stencil, uh, but it was just a bit, it felt strange to me. So I decided to take again the, the rectangle extraordinary stencil from my favorite things. I laid it on top again, tried to line it up perfectly and then I was going to really softly ink blend the same yellow, but just a really light amount in between um, those areas. And then the whole idea from the rectangle extraordinary stencil really comes to life. Well, it shifted, but um, <laughs> no boo boos. Um, I could replace it back and then um, I could make the same mistake because I. Again, didn't adhere it properly, but uh, well, we just went for it, we, we figured it out, and then um, we just ink blended our way. And it really changed the whole background. So maybe adding this was the reason why the flowers didn't work anymore, uh, but I, I'm changing it up. Again, why just it wasn't working, and then uh, I had a yellow background and it wasn't on purpose at all to have a yellow background and then continue with the greys. Uh, but since I had this <laughs> yellow background, I started thinking about the Pantone colors that I really, really like from 2021 being yellow and grey. So I just went for it. I decided to combine the amazing Penguin Party stamp set that I bought recently. I didn't buy buy it when it was released i thought that i didn't need it well i was wrong i love the penguin with the balloon it's the most adorable one from the whole set i think and then the ones with the with the flags in between them um so i just started coloring this one already in grace so that helped with the whole pant uh, pantone uh, colors and then i of course used yellow as accents so once i decided upon this stamp i didn't have any difficulties with the colors because well it works yellow and grace and we already know that and somebody figured it out for us uh, so <laughs> that's what I did. As for the coloring you know me I'm going from darkest to lightest and I just keep going back and forth until I like the blend. Now personally on this paper Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper I am most of the time happy with my two layers but if needed you can always add more and if you notice that you cannot blend anymore it's probably because the paper is a bit oversaturated at that stage just wait a bit let it dry and then come back to your image uh, but personally apparently i don't use 
that big of an amount of markers when I am blending on my layers but if you have that just lay it aside come back to it and then you will have more possibilities or use your heat gun that can also help now I'm just doing these orange details and then we will go on with the yellow which is so cute I don't know how about you, but when I use yellow on a card or just yellow in general, someone is wearing a yellow t-shirt or anything like that, it's so joyful. I really, really can enjoy it. And it's playful, it's joyful, it's bright, it's summer, it's spring, it's, it's all lovely things. Don't you think? So I always like it when I have a yellow combination. Um, so... Happy to have found the Pantone colors of 2021 because this way I can also use it with grays. And again, it's a combination or a specific combination with only these colors that I would never have figured out or never have thought of. So I'm actually, if I can be honest, already curious about the colors of next year. I will definitely check it out as soon as possible. Um, because I really enjoy using them. So I'm just adding second layer. And then we can use the matching dies to cut it out and work on the rest of the card. Before I started coloring, I also showed you that I had the happy birthday already cut out um, and adhered uh, two layers on top of each other. I already did that, it's quite fiddly, um, <laughs> so that's why I didn't do it on camera. Uh, I just have a white uh, layer and then a grey layer on top. You can of course do two grey layers, uh, but well, this is what I did. And I did at least two layers because it's a really thin script and I found that with one layer it was really hard to keep the idea of the die cut um, because it's you can bend it however you want, sort of. And I also laid it inside of the negative part of this die cut and then used this purple tape to keep it in the same place and spacing as originally intended by the die cut. Because I like it like this, so it was handy to, to do it like this. Now I'm adding some thin foam squares on the back of my image as much as possible, like always. And then I will add this adorable penguin on the right corner uh, of my yellow rectangle. So this became a really simple birthday card um, using only one image, a lovely sentiment and then of course some stencils to create that wonderful background. Now I placed the penguin with the idea of having the balloon straight lining up with the panel. So that's why I have this angle. I think you can also place it with the balloon being more towards the left. But I really liked it like this. Now don't forget the tittle. I'm fixing some of the areas where my layers weren't sticking that well to each other. And then I'm going to embellish this card. So actually you can leave it like this if you want to. Of course there is a balloon. I will use glossy accents. Uh, and I will also use that on the um, hat. Because I wanted to use it on more than one area. Um, that being said, I just took the yellow parts. And then um, I'm also going to add some hearts. Um, you know me, I love these hard sprinkles that you have. And I have the black licorice one, which I really truly love. Um, it's something different from all the red and white hearts. And, but it goes well with gray, of course. It's, it's a really, really, really dark gray, if you want to see it like that. Uh, so I just added a few to this card. And um, then it was all done. So I made sure to remove the excess, um, excess glue and then it was onto the embellishments. Now you can always really easily add glossy accents but I prefer, if I think about all the rest that I want to add, I prefer to keep the glossy accents to the end because of course you can 
get into that red area while you're placing other embellishments. Uh, so therefore, uh, if I can and if I know that I want to use multiple um, ways of embellishments or, or decorations, um, then I try to keep the liquid stuff to the end. Also, making sure that my card base is already adhered, um, well, my panel to my card base. And then everything works out fine. But once I have that liquid on top of it and I want to add something more, it's just danger. It's truly. <laughs> so now that is my glossy accents. I'm always starting with the glossy accents on top of my finger just for those air bubbles that can be um, in the front of the, uh, well, the bottle. And then I go on to the image. And that is going to be my car trying to get rid of, of excess dust on my panel. And this is close up. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And of course the end result, it wasn't at all what I was planning to make. Uh, but I really, really like how it turned out. And I hope you do too. If you do, you can always give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video and I wish you an amazing day. Bye!